Hey there, and welcome back to Dakota News Now. Now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors. Joining me as always is Doug Schroeder from Lewis, and uh, Doug, looks like we're talking hydrangeas. I guess we're talking, yes. We're gonna be talking about big leaf hydrangeas. Uh, something that will add a lot of color to your landscape and is uh, one of my personal favorites. So if uh, anybody, if somebody hasn't picked out a hydrangea before, if somebody hasn't grown one, what's the first thing that they need to know about? Well, light is probably the most uh, important thing to do when uh, considering if you're going to buy and try to grow big leaf hydrangeas. They really prefer morning sun than afternoon filtered sun. So if you have an east exposure, uh, perfect for this type of plant. Or if you're in a, um, a tree area of town, another good idea for this to be grown. So watering wise, you don't want to overwater it, right? Nope, nope. They really like rich nutrient uh, based soil, organic based soil, uh, but it needs to be well drained. And uh, you can test it when it starts getting a little dry, give it a little water around the base of the plant, not on the foliage, get underneath and water it that way. And so that just kind of goes back to what we always say is that you want to pick out a good quality soil for it too. Right, right. If your uh, soil is lacking a little bit, I recommend maybe uh, amending it with a little bit of organic material, uh, some good uh, cow manure or something like that, just to give it a little oomph. Fertilize maybe a couple of times a year? Fertilize a couple of times a year. I recommend slow release fertilizer right away in the spring and then maybe mid-June. Uh, really, you'd need the one time of the year, but if you want to give it an extra burst, about mid-June would be the second one. Is this the type of plant where you want to prune it all? Prune it right away in the spring. Well, not right away. When everything has greened up, if you see dead, prune that. But give it a chance to actually um, uh, green up first because it will come back on old wood, and this will bloom on old wood. This plant will also bloom on new uh, sp uh, sprouts from the plant. So. Uh, give it a chance and just cut away the dead. And so because it kind of has that trait to it, it's, it's a good idea to winterize each year, right? Yes, winterize. Uh, that's probably one of the most important things you can do with this plant. Uh, give it a good layer of mulch going into winter. Um, it gives it the best chance for coming back the next spring. And you have a new type of hydrangea this year, right? We do. Introducing Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse is uh, got purplish foliage with kind of a cranberry bloom. Uh, brand new this year called Eclipse and we're kind of excited about it. Oh yeah, you can kind of really see the cranberry type colors like right here, especially once you get inside the petals there. Right. Looks real nice. It would work pretty well in a thriller filler or spiller, right? It would be perfect in a container. In fact, I encourage a lot of my friends to um, uh, use this as a, in a container. Just remember, if you use it for your patio in a container, it is an annual. It is no longer something that it will be coming back up. It will not survive in a container throughout the winter. All right. Doug, any more tips for us? No, let's get out and plant. Uh, the weather's changed and happy to be outside. <laughs> it's looking like some great weather coming up. If you do want to get outside and start doing a little bit of planting, Doug, thank you. We're going to have all this information online at dakotanewsnow.com after the show. And you can watch previous episodes of Owning Your Outdoors anytime. Just download the Dakota News Now app on any of these streaming platforms. And we'll be back after the break. <laughs> 